everyone. Welcome back to Country in the City. My name is Sherry. Welcome back. And um, today I am bringing to you a little bit of a flea market and um, garage sale or yard sale haul. Um, but before I get into that, I just wanted to um, make you all aware, um, just chit chat with you a bit. Um, I'm sorry I have not been on here a whole lot the last um, month or so. Um, my oldest son did graduate from college on Mother's Day weekend, and we have been really busy. Just the house is in topsy-turvy condition. Um, you know, we're honestly still haven't even gotten all of his stuff, like the boxes, like unpacked, gone through, and then repack what he wants to store, you know, get rid of the stuff. You know, college students who live away from home often accumulate for lack of a better word, junk. And um, and then obviously there are boxes of his books that he has that he probably is going to want to keep at least for, you know, a few years until he figures out whether he's going to need them for his career or not to refer back to. But that being said, we are busy uh, with that. He graduated with a, with a four-year environmental science degree and is hoping to um, work in the field of um, environmental con conservation as far as like uh, hunting, fishing, law enforcement, that type thing. So he's going to be very busy, but he is home getting readjusted to home life and what it's like to be living at home you know, with his family again on a permanent basis. So that being said, um, let's see what else has been going on. Just a lot of, I've been, you know, just hanging out with my husband a lot. He's, you know, he goes here and goes there. He is, I don't know if you, any of you remember or have known this, but he is a full, he's bivocational. He is a full time, uh, employee of the state we live in and then he also is um, a lead pastor at our church and so he's very busy very very busy um, besides a few other irons he has in the fire so um let's see I'm gonna start with the garage sale well let me show you something first my son um, he was part of Ducks Unlimited. Um, he was the vice president of the Ducks Unlimited Conservation Group at his college. And last year, 2018, I believe it was at the end of the year, I think they do their Ducks Unlimited banquet somewhere like in February or March. They, um, they made these, and I, I'm sure you've seen it on my Instagram and maybe even here, um, I have another one that's about this size in my kitchen and there are slabs of wood that he also was part of the um the woodsman team or the um forestry team um uh, where they did woodsman sports um so like logging and you know splitting and cutting and you know that chopping that type of thing so these were on the table with floral arrangements in the center of um and this is burnt into the wood uh, and so i just love this his his roommate his um apartment roommate gave me this one to match the one that my son gave me last year he said here mrs fine you can have this so yeah cute huh um they're just adorable um and then my son gave me this one and you can tell it's very dried out because it has a split right there but that's nature that's part of the and this thing is heavy and it is big and um yeah it's huge so what I've been doing is I have had them sorry I bumped it but I had them like layered I don't know if you can see this I had them layered like and then something in the center so I don't know if I'm going to keep them like that. I just wanted to show you those. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. If you have any ideas of other things I can use them for, let me know. Um, yeah, 
That would be great. Maybe I can find something to do with them other than what I've been using them for. So then um, about uh, two weeks ago, we had a neighborhood yard sale where like a lot of the houses participated and a neighbor down the street, um, I went like the very last day as she was cleaning up, as did a lot of the people. And she had this whole stack of chargers. Now they're very inexpensive. They may even be from Dollar Tree, but there's nine of them here and they're gold. And she like gave them to me for like a quarter. I'm like, I'll take them. I'm thinking of spray painting them with a chalk paint and making them like maybe white, like they're off white. Um, and if a little bit of the gold shows through here and there, I wouldn't really care. But I think chalk paint would adhere to these. Um, I've seen other people do it in um, on other channels. So they're, they're really big. I mean, you can see this is, I mean, I don't have a small hand. I play the piano, so I don't have a small hand. And you can see how big that is. It's big. Um, yeah, it doesn't have the inches on the back. But anyway, for like a quarter, I couldn't pass it up. Now at the same yard sale, I got, um, let's see, what did I get? I got a Fire King, a, a vintage Fire King bowl with Courier and Ives um, seen on it. And that was in like a medium blue color. Um, and I think that's all I got. Yeah. I got that. Um, and then at another one, I got two purses. Um, <laughs> two purses, two bags. Um, I'll, I'll use them as purses. They're, they're big. Um, I don't have them in here right now. But I wanted to show you some of the other stuff. This past weekend, my daughter and I were supposed to go to the Country Living Fair um, down in southern New York. And I, we didn't get to go. I have not, you know, be besides you know having my son home and I just didn't have the resources to go I didn't have a vehicle first of all to go my daughter's vehicles were tied up um being used and one's being worked on and um I just have not felt the greatest and so I didn't want to risk going down there and um um, you know, getting stuck down there. It's more than an hour away. It's about an hour and 15 minutes, I think. Um, so anyway, so we went to a flea market in about 30 minutes from here, which was drivable there and back, you know, the same day. So, um, and I know that area where we went very well. So it was just a lot less stress. So at this one vendor, it was a flea market at like a vintage antique type indoor flea market. And then once a year, they hold a big outdoor flea market in addition to their building being open. So went to this very first vendor um, as you pull into the parking lot and he had some fantastic stuff. And it happened to be a man that was from the area where I grew up out in the country and I was like, he was talking about places he was going. I'm like, oh, I know that place. I know. He's like, how do you know that place? And I said, I used to live on this road. And it was funny. So he ended up giving me some really good deals. So I got this big terracotta pot because I want something to plant, re transplant some um, ivy in that I have. And um, let's see, what else do I have in there? I have an ivy and I have of an African violet and I want to start some like parsley and basil and that type of thing. Then he gave me this with, it has the tray underneath and then he gave me this size with the tray and then inside there was another one. So that's four terracotta pots, two with the trays and he gave them to me and these two paper mache, well, they're, they're like paper mache pumpkins in a bag. He gave those four pots with the two trays and these two pumpkins for $3. I was like, I couldn't pass up because I have, am ha I was having a hard time finding used vintage terracotta pots. Everything was brand new and they're not cheap here in New York. 
They're just, they're not, they're extremely expensive. I don't know if they're expensive where you are, but they're expensive here. So I got all of that. And I'm gonna put this inside this one. That's how it was. <laughs> and um, for $3. And then on another table of his, I went and he had <clears throat> two of the blue, <coughs> pardon me, Atlas Easy Seal jars. Um, and he gave them to me a dollar each. So this one's a little bit darker blue <clears throat> than this one. And then um, I went to another booth and I got this scale. It's in really good condition. Um, it said $65 on it. And then it was marked down to 15 and I got another 10% off of that. So I got it for like $13. It was ended up being <coughs> 14 and change with tax. But that is my haul. Tell me how you would style some of these things. And give me some ideas. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.